Welcome back to D-Machine, where the sound of steel and the rhythm of industry come alive. Today, we're stepping into a vast Chinese factory to witness how the massive crawler tracks of construction machines are born, forged, machined, and assembled with precision, strength, and decades of engineering tradition. It all begins with the raw material, heavy, solid steel bars lined neatly along the feeding line. Each bar, over a meter long and weighing several dozen pounds, will soon be transformed into a vital component of a machine that moves mountains. In this first stage, the bars are automatically fed into a high-speed cutting machine. Blades slice through steel with remarkable precision, separating each bar into uniform billets, small cylinders that will become the building blocks of the track chain. These billets are collected into steel crates, waiting for the next journey, the heat of the forge. Every sound, the cut, the clank, the roll of metal, marks the birth of strength in motion. Inside the forging section, the temperature rises above 1100 degrees Celsius. The billets glow bright orange as they travel through induction heaters. At this heat, steel softens, but it does not weaken. It's at its most pliable, ready to be shaped by force. The glowing billets are placed into massive forging presses. With a thunderous impact, thousands of tons of hydraulic pressure strike down, compressing and shaping the steel into the familiar form of a crawler link. Every blow refines the grain of the metal, making it stronger, denser, and more resistant to wear. As sparks fly, the rhythmic pounding of the forge echoes across the workshop, a sound that connects the past to the present. It's the same principle used for centuries by blacksmiths, now magnified by modern automation. Once forged, the red-hot links cool slowly on conveyors, becoming the heart of the crawler track. Now power gives way to precision. In long rows of CNC machining centers, robotic arms pick up the forged links and position them for drilling, milling, and reaming. Coolant sprays over the cutting tools as they carve metal to microscopic accuracy. Every hole, every surface, and every contour must be exact. A fraction of a millimeter can decide whether a track runs smooth or fails under pressure. Computer monitors glow with data. Cutting speed, spindle load, tool temperature, all tracked in real time. Here, steel meets software and craftsmanship meets code. When machining is done, the links are cleaned, inspected, and sorted into steel crates, perfectly shaped, ready to meet their partners, the track shoes.
Unlike the Lynx, track shoes begin as thick steel plates. They enter the jaws of enormous presses, like the Haozung HLC 800, which crush the steel into the rugged shape that grips soil and rock. Every strike forms the grooves and bolt holes that define the crawler's footprint. The noise is deep and rhythmic, the heartbeat of heavy manufacturing. After pressing, the shoes move to automated grinders where robotic arms smooth sharp edges and burrs. Each plate is then measured by laser sensors for flatness and alignment, ensuring perfection before assembly. Rows of identical shoes are stacked neatly, hundreds of them, waiting for their moment to carry tons of machinery across the earth. Next comes refinement. The pressed shoes are fed through chamfering chambers, where robotic tools bevel the edges and polish the surfaces. The goal is not beauty, but endurance. Smoother edges mean longer life and less friction in the field. CNC drills complete the bolt holes and mounting faces. Coolant flows constantly, hissing softly as steel meets tool. The plates are cooled, washed, and checked for exact dimensions. Nearby, a control panel monitors every detail, temperature, torque, timing. Automation doesn't just make things faster, it ensures uniformity. Finally, the shoes are carried along conveyor rollers, their surfaces gleaming with the faint sheen of protective oil, ready to meet the precision forged links.
This is where all components come together. Links, pins, bushings, and shoes forming a living chain of steel. The pins and bushings are machined separately, each turned and ground to perfect smoothness. They will form the rotating joints that let the track flex as it moves. Workers align the components on hydraulic assembly jigs. Presses drive the pins through the links and bushings with exact, calibrated force. Too tight, and the chain will seize. Too loose, and it will fail under load. Link by link, the crawler chain grows longer, heavier, more alive. Each connection is measured and tested. When a section is complete, it is coiled around a testing sprocket, simulating the motion of a real machine. Sensors listen for vibration and resistance, detecting imperfections invisible to the human eye. Only when the movement is smooth, silent, and flawless does the assembly pass inspection. It's the mechanical equivalent of a heartbeat, power in motion, precision in balance. The completed tracks move to the inspection bay. Technicians test hardness, tensile strength, and resistance to twist and wear. A thin layer of grease is applied to every joint, sealing it from dust and corrosion. Each assembly is stamped with a serial code and production date, a fingerprint of its creation. Then, the massive steel belts are coiled, strapped, and lifted onto pallets. Rows of finished crawler tracks fill the warehouse, gleaming under factory lights each one ready to power an excavator, a bulldozer, or a crane. From raw bar to rolling strength, every link tells a story of fire, precision, and human ingenuity. Thank you for watching D Machine, where the legacy of steel and the spirit of craftsmanship never fade. If you enjoy stories of machines, industry, and the people who build our world, give this video a like, share it with friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more journeys through the heart of engineering.